Hey, yo, E-King's Fight News. Mikey Garcia is looking jacked up. And according to Earl Spence, Mikey Garcia is looking like Kangaroo Jack on steroids. That's that's a quote from Earl Spence. And shout, shout out to Fred for that one. E-King Fight News. We got more on this. That's right. Both of these guys are... You know, Errol Spence, credit to him, he stays in shape. The man stays in shape. Well, there you go. I mean, Errol Spence, like I said before, stays in shape. Uh, one of the best in the world. When it comes to the welterweight division. And a lot of it is his work ethic, man. This guy trains like an animal. And Mikey Garcia. I mean, it's hard to say. Because he, he's looking. It's the first time he's working with quote-unquote strength and conditioning guys. That happen to be teamed up with Victor Conte. Who has, you know. Uh, a very questionable background <laughs> to say the least but regardless of all that man Mike Garcia is attempting to put on you know another 20 pounds of muscle and to just jack up and try and get out of Spence and regardless of what you guys think man you gotta you gotta really see who's stepping up to even fight this guy and you know, maybe Earl Spence is giving this guy a break. I I heard there was VADA testing for this fight. From my understanding, there's supposed to be some kind of drug testing for this fight. <laughs> there's got to be something. But regardless, Mikey Garcia does have the weight disadvantage. And he's trying to, you know, do whatever he can by legal means to try, you know, add that weight. Without losing his speed, his, his explosiveness, he's got the pedigree. He's got the class. No question about it. Mike Garcia, probably the best technical fighter in boxing right now. No question about it. But can he deal with, the, with what Earl Spence brings to the table? This is like... This is like, you know... Not not the best example, but look at what happened to Kell Brook when he stepped up to face Gennady Golovkin. Look at what happened to Guillermo Rigondeaux when he stepped up to face Vasily Lomachenko. Just look what happened. Two weight divisions. Garcia is really coming from 140, but his last fight was at 135. You know, even when he came in at 140, like he looked like the same dude. Like it's like no difference at all. And because of that, because he took, he's taken this fight a thousand percent more seriously because he knows it's the highest risk fight he's ever going to put himself in with, right? Against an Earl Spence. And will he be able to prevail is the ultimate question because he's going to get a pass regardless. <laughs> he's going to get a pass just for taking the fight. So... We got to see how it all plays out. Uh, both of these guys look ready to go. And we're only in January right now. Hey, Happy New Year's, by the way. Uh, but we'll see how it all, you know, at the end of the day, these two guys have to try and make sure uh, that going forward, or else Spence needs, both these guys need to make a statement. You know, at the end of the day, Mike Garcia basically dropped everything at 135, dropped everything at 140, and said, let's get it. I'm finally ready. You know, <laughs> no more games. I'm going to get at Earl Spence. Like I said I would. And Earl Spence, we all know what he brings to the table. And I give Earl Spence a lot of credit. For this reason, 
in this day and age, when it comes to um, when it comes to taking that big risk, you know, going for a unification fight, getting your first world title, and you have to go across the pond. You got to go to the UK. You got to go somewhere else to capture a world title. You know, Tim Bradley did it. Um, Terrence Crawford did it. And Errol Spence Jr. did it. He went across the pond to crack Kell Brook, broke his eye, took his championship, shredded his body up. And that's what Mikey Garcia is going to feel. He's going to feel a devastating body puncher at welterweight, touching his, you know, 140-pound frame up. And it's not going to feel good, right? Right? You want to know the worst it can, it can turn out to be? Look at what a very big Oscar De La Hoya did to uh, an Arturo Gatti who wanted to step up and wait. Look at what happened there. I know there's, there's a whole different element of skill when, it's, when you're talking about Arturo Gatti and, and Mikey Garcia. And that's going to help him survive. But will he be able to gain Earl, Earl's respect? You look at what happened with Kell Brook and Triple G. Kell Brook never gained Golovkin's respect. That's why the fight ended up the way it is. The way it went down. So, regardless of the fact, man, this is going to be one heck of a fight. And, and this is why I appreciate guys like Mikey Garcia who are willing to step up. At the same time, there should be drug testing for this fight. Let me know what you guys think. E King Fight News. And I guess we're out, man. <sighs> you know, a whole nother um, story coming out is Amir Khan is still. He's still questioning whether he should be fighting Kell Brook or if he'll step up and face Terrence Crawford. Now, I personally really like the idea of the Crawford fight. It's completely out of the box. It gives Amir Khan an an out of this world top tier challenge. You know, it, it it would be it's similar to the Floyd Mayweather fight he never got to have. Instead, the Crawford opportunity opens itself up, and will Amir Khan? Try and prove he is the one of the best welterweights to ever lace him up. He's trying. He's literally. He's trying to have a legacy here, and you gotta respect it because there's a lot, a lot more on the line for Amir Khan if he were to take on a Terence Crawford than there is if he would take on a Kell Brook. So, end of the day, let me know what you guys think, man. Is Mikey Garcia juiced up right now? <laughs> like, is he is he juicing up right now to try and take out Earl Spence? He's looking he's looking a whole lot different in only a few weeks. A whole lot different. I mean, Earl Spence is Earl Spence. Dude's a straight warrior. And he's fucking with these dogs, man. What do you say? Hashtag TBT my June 16th. One round KO at the Star in Frisco. We be up one March 16th. Get your seats early this time. Hashtag man down. Hashtag strap season. Yeah, I mean,